Carbon Lake Conversation. Quick question. Is this the podcast? Are we doing the podcast right now? Hello, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Carbonly Conversations. Got Shane and Chad here, as always. How are you today, Chad? We certainly do. We've somehow managed two episodes in a row matching like our moms dressed us together. <laughs> now we're on the blue, you know. So, um, as always, we appreciate appreciate everyone's support. Um, you know, we we basically created this podcast in order to examine inter- the intersection of community, lifestyles, and consumption in our personal lives. Um, and then we hope to share our stories and our curiosity to motivate actions to lessen our carbon, carbon footprints and also to, to use our platform to create a space for everyone out there listening and community members to share their carbonly journeys as well. Um, if you're wanting to subscribe or make sure that you don't miss any of the Carbonly Conversations. Um, literally, all you need to do is scroll down to the show notes, um, click click on Find and Join the Conversation, and that'll take you to whatever app you use to listen to podcasts. That'll have, it'll have a link there um, so that you have access to all of our past episodes, this episode, and any future episodes that we drop. Um, Wednesday mornings is our is our release date. So at most most every Wednesday morning, you can uh, wake up and listen to our lovely voices on your drive to work or while you get breakfast ready for the kids, whatever, whatever it is, you know, while you're scrubbing those, polishing those teeth, brushing your teeth, whatever. So um, and then make sure to follow us on social media, Instagram, TikTok, X, and check out our video content on YouTube. Um, our channel is Carbonly Conversations, and let's get it started. What do we got? What do we got going on today, Chad? Well, since we've made it very clear that you live and spend quality time in Columbus, Ohio, um, I thought we would do this little ditty on EV charging network because, lo and behold, the first charging station brought to us by the federal government funding aka our hard-earned tax dollars is open and running right outside or right nearby columbus so i thought we'd do a like a carbon lay readout on where ev charging stations are are going because like you can give discounts and funding to build and sell as many cars ev cars that you want um but you need a charging network and I know like the Teslas and the other amazing players out there are doing their best to build their own private network. Um, but how the federal government steps on and makes that um, a reliable, consistent experience, it's going to really be a game changer on just For sure. even car buyership and ownership, right? So it's local to Columbus. It's important in this carbon lake journey. There's, I mean, it's, it's, it's definitely subsidized by the federal government. So let's get into the, the details. So yeah. we got a quick video, I think, to, to how did we start? Like, we've just been scraping YouTube for some of this stuff ourselves. Yeah, who would have thought Columbus, Ohio would have the first one, but we're here. Are the first in the nation to break ground on an electric vehicle charging station built as part of the National Electric Vehicle Infrastructure Program, or NEVI. The station is at the Pilot Travel Center along I-70 at US-42 in Madison County. Once completed, it will be equipped with fast chargers that can provide up to 350 kilowatts when charging a single vehicle. When four vehicles are charging simultaneously, each port gets 175 kilowatts, which can charge an EV up to 80% in 20 to 40 minutes, depending on the vehicle's battery. In addition to this first site along I-70, construction is expected to begin soon on more than two dozen fast charging stations funded by NEVI across the state. All chargers installed as part of the first round are anticipated to be operational by the end of 2024. Well, that's the Ohio Department of Transportation coming to us live on Carbonly. Um, that's really cool. About the the beginning, right? And we did yeah. announce that it's already there. So um, before we get there, so have, do you drive by that? Do you know where this pilot station is? No. So at first, when when we when you first sent it to me, um, 
I thought that I, I I know where they're mentioning it, but it's in, it's a little bit outside of Columbus in London, Ohio, but it's just like a 20 minute, 20 minute yeah. drive down the interstate. Um, so I, I am familiar somewhat where it's at. It actually, I was already shocked that they chose Ohio, but it shocks me even more of like the location that they chose because London, Ohio is very suburban. Um, I don't, I don't want to say middle of nowhere, but not a not an area that I would think they would select that. But I'm sure there's a so, method to the madness. So, so, so we'll get into a little bit of that because we, I'm pretty much like borrowing from Axios reporting, which is where I found this story. <laughs> um, so all the states are eligible to access this funding is pretty much the the lowdown of it. Ohio just happens to be the first one that got the first charger going with the funding. Okay. That, so like why they, why they chose that isn't a federal decision. You have to ask the Ohio department of transportation. And now I don't know if they mentioned it in the video is, is that cause I, so I know like with the Tesla chargers and the other privatized ones, you have to pay. Is this, was this Good one question. free? I, I don't know. I did okay. say maybe I'll, we'll, we'll get into this here. Okay. Um, which, so driving the news back to what I said earlier, all 50 states plus Puerto Rico, District of Columbia have submitted plans for their share of EV charger money, which came by the way of last year's bipartisan infrastructure bill. It's one of the big Biden projects. Mm -hmm. So under these guidelines, these charging stations should be installed along major highways, i.e. freeways running across the country um, that is designated as alternative fuel corridors. Um, and they want the goal of having these chargers at no more than 50 miles apart within one mile from the interstate exits. Um, and the video here showed that they need to have like fast chargers because there's a big difference between hours and minutes. And when you're sitting there to try yeah. to get a charge in your car. So, um, so such equipment could recharge a vehicle in 20, 30 minutes, kind of like other wow. video said versus an eight plus hour for a typical public level two charger. Wow. So right now, 26 states have made the effort to spend their share of the money so far. So just a little over half. Um, and of those, 17 are in the process of soliciting bids. Well, seven others have issued conditional awards for new stations, whereas Ohio and Hawaii are the furthest along with firm contracts in place. But only hmm. the one station, which I think we'll preview here next in a video, is up and running. So again, thank you, YouTube, for letting other people go to the station and tell us about it. Yeah. And a little quick fun fact, um, Ohio and Hawaii are the two states that, two of the three states that I've ever lived in. So I'm two for three. So oh, far, we just, we just need New York to start using the, the, the funding. The money, huh? Yeah. A little fun fact for... Fun fact all for the, our Carmen Lee listeners. All the listeners out there that wondered where Shane lived. <laughs> But um, yeah, let's get into the to this YouTube one here. I also like how it's called the Nevi Charger Net Network. Yeah, you know, the National Electric Vehicle Institute, or I forget what the I stood for, but Nevi's a fun a fun name. So you join me at the Pilot Truck Stop located right off of I-70 here in Ohio between Columbus and Dayton. And I'm really excited to check out this new site. This is really a preview of what's to come all across the United States. So we're gonna look at the hardware. We'll see how it works in terms of getting everything going. And we'll take a brief look inside, look at the amenities and see what they've got. There we go, he's excited. He's very excited. That's brought to us by Ben's <laughs> Eco's Adventure. Um, we will link Thanks, his ben. channel as well. He's got um, EV cars, and he, he's out there making sure everyone knows how to use them. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, so this, like like Chad said, this is the first Nevi-funded station. Um, it opened December 8th at a along a pilot travel center along I-70 um, on the western outskirts of Columbus. So it's London, Ohio is where it's at. Like I said, it's a depending where you're at in Columbus, 20 to 30 minute or so drive. Um, so not far at all. So it includes four of the EVgo fast chargers. 
um, under an overhead canopy so you don't have to get rained or snowed on while you sit there and charge your car. Um, you have full access. Anyone that's familiar with pilot stations, they have restrooms, Wi-Fi, food, beverages, a lot of other conveniences. Um, it's a pretty major truck stop. They do, A lot of them even have like showers in there for the truck drivers. Um, it's the first of more than two dozen highway charging stations that are set, set to open in Ohio by the end of 2024. And then the state, which will receive $140 million in NEVI funding over five years, is already planning a second round of 25 additional charging stations. So that's pretty major. It's pretty, pretty cool to see. Yeah. The state that I, mean, I love spearheading it's a this. Big, big statement to say you're the first, right? Um, and I'm Googling up a mail storm here and I cannot like, yes, charger stations usually cost money, but do these Nevi ones cost money? Um, what I do get is that, States can apply up to 80% of the funding to put these stations in um, or refund or like can be financed through this, this infrastructure bill. Um, okay. But it does not say, I'm going to presume you got to pay something for the electricity. Yeah, yeah. And even, you know, maybe eventually maybe the goal will, will to, to depending on where the location is, if there's enough land there to, to put out, what is it called? I don't know why I can't think of it right now. Where you get the energy from the sun? Oh, solar. Yeah. So edit all that out. That's um, so. Yeah. Hope <laughs> you would you would think that maybe eventually. A long the goal, day. You know that bright ball in the sky. <laughs> it's yeah. Seriously, <laughs> but hopefully, eventually, you know, um, if they aren't free, maybe eventually the goal would be to have some some solar solar panels that can help energize them and either lower the cost or make it completely free. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. Nonetheless. Well, well, nothing's ever free. That's for sure. And there's no such thing as a free yeah, lunch. True that. Um, but I think the real question to ask next, Shane, is what they say. If there's four charging ports, and depending on the size of your battery, it could take anywhere from 20 to 30 minutes to charge 80% yeah. of your battery back up. Right? So let's say you pull in and you're at like 40% charge, 35% charge, and you want to get mostly to full. You have to spend at least 15 minutes. What are right. you going to do with that time? Yep. You're going to go shopping, walking. They'll probably start well, putting them near some shopping centers. I know. mean, I, don't, I always thought Starbucks, McDonald's, they'd be like no brainers, Walmarts. Yeah. Yep. Um, but. But more importantly, Carbonly listeners and Shane, what are oh. you going to do with your time if you're charging your car? I might listen to car a episode of Carbonly Conversation. <laughs> <laughs> that is the correct answer. Yeah. Um, so. I, here's what I keep thinking about. And I believe you've been to a Bucky station. I have not. I, I know what they are. Oh. I've actually seen you know? YouTube videos of people. Okay. Yeah. So Bucky's is like a mecca of convenience stores we'll just say that they're kind of like in between in the middle of nowhere they would fit these definitions of where these chargers parts got to be mm -hmm. and there's more gas pumps than you can imagine and then inside the store it's like amazing it's got the cleanest bathrooms anything you'd ever want to buy and eat for snacks and road charm roadside charm um I just keep thinking about the moment they start putting in dozens and dozens of those chargers, in addition to the gas pumps. Like, it's a no brainer. Like, yeah. So, I guess my question is like, well, how's the Bucky's experience going to change? It's not. You're just going to, you already go there anyways and hang out. So, like, that that's what we need is a bunch of Bucky's. And you have more charts. It takes longer to, to yeah. charge yeah, yeah, the battery yeah. than it does to fill your tank up. So, um, that'll definitely be interesting. Um, and yeah, I mean, pretty much bottom line is with about 158,000 public chargers across 60,000 locations, including nearly 37,000 fast chargers at about 8,570 public stations um, available today, the country still has a very long way to go, um, especially Definitely. with the different mandates that have been placed on like um, vehicle requirements. We I don't. I forget what year it is, but 
one day all the all new newly made vehicles will be electric. At least I know that's the goal. Um, so we definitely we're have headed. to prepare for that. Definitely. Well, thank you, Ohio State. Oh my God, Ohio Department of Transportation. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Ben Drives EVs YouTube yeah. channel. Um, thank you, Axios, for bringing this news, making it easy for us to to share out and and get some video clips out there. And I think Carbonly listeners like to start contemplating. Like you're gonna get that ten to forty minute time in your next road trip driving your EV. What are you gonna do with it? Yep. Big yep, questions. That's right. Be- Scroll down the show notes, click find, join and find the conversation, add us, you know, follow us on your, your social media or your social media and your podcast platform. So that when you have that extra 20 minutes, Hey, let me, let me throw Shane and chat on real quick. And yep. Learn you definitely something listen to this new. episode. Yep. We'll clock in just under 20. So perfect. Yeah. So thanks. Thank you to the government. All right. Now our listeners will, our listening listenership will go up just because of this. Definitely. Thank you, Nevi. <laughs> well, have a good night, Shane. Thank you. you too. And have a carbon light week.